Hi, Noel McKegan for Gizmag coming to you from the Detroit Auto Show 2010 where we couldn't resist but uh, drop by and check out the Audi e-tron, a car that really wowed us in Frankfurt uh, last year and here in Detroit Audi have produced an e-tron Mark II, uh, a concept car which is shorter and lower than the model shown in Frankfurt. It's 8 inches shorter than an R8 and it's a total of 95 inches long and the classic sports car proportions are rounded off by 19 inch wheels. Uh, it has two electric motors uh, positioned on the rear axle which produce 204 horsepower that's combined and over 2,500 newton metres of torque. Now those figures are lower than those quoted for the first model which we saw in Frankfurt but as mentioned it's a smaller car, it's a very sporty car and the weight is also down down to 1,350 kilograms or just under 3,000 pounds. The car is made of an aluminium body and the performance specs are also pretty sporty. It does 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6 seconds and has a top speed limited to 200 kilometres an hour and Audi also quotes a range of 250 kilometres. Also notable are the LED headlights which change appearance at different speeds and in different ambient conditions and air intakes that are closed flushed when the car is operating normally and open when extra cooling is required at high speed. On the inside there's a motorsport steering wheel and a smartphone inspired information interface which consists of a large central display and also a dash that houses your smartphone. You can use your smartphone to access climate control and nav systems and other car systems. The car is charged through a cover at the rear and it's charged through a normal electric outlet, household outlet. There's also electromechanical braking system and a heat pump which is used for climate control on the inside. The interesting thing about this uh, climate control system is that it's preconditioned so when you plug it into a charger the temperature conditions inside the car are set up before you actually get in to start driving. What this all adds up to is one very beautiful concept and a sporty one to boot.